before I say anything about designing pineapple knots with the advanced grid maker I have to say that I would never have got to grips with them without studying Lisa Burton's fantastic documents which are available from the advanced grid maker page. Not only does Lisa describe the theory but she also makes available a huge number of recipes. A link is given within her pineapple knots document. Without us even understanding how or why the knots work, Lisa makes it easy for anyone to tie up to four strand pineapple knots purely by using her recipes. Thanks ever so much Lisa for sharing so much of your work with us. If you want to see pineapple knots tied by a real master, you should check out Barry Brown's blog pages. The link to one of these pages can be seen here and you really ought to check out his other pages because they are absolutely awe-inspiring. Wow, what more can I say? Here's a three-strand pineapple knot key fob I made in paracord. For those who know what a Guinness can widget is, I can tell you the knot is tied around one. All I did to make the loop for the ring was to force the loop tightly into the hollow widget before tying the pineapple knot around it. For covering spheres I generally wouldn't use more than four base bytes as it's difficult not to expose the sphere it's tied around if more bytes are used. This pineapple knot has 17 parts and 12 bytes but I'm using three chords that's four bytes per chord which is what I mean by four base bytes. In this video I'll simply show the settings I used for this knot, leaving theory until a later video. Here's the advanced grid maker. I'm going to use three strands so for the coding I will need six entries. And I've got over, under, 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 over, over. And as I say you can find these recipes in Lisa's book recipe book. I've chosen red, white and blue. The shadow colour I've left as saddle brown. You can try something else if you want. 17 parts and 12 bytes. And if I scroll down I need a pineapple grid with three nested bytes and the bottom bytes shifted by one. So click on the pineapple grid, column coding, and let's have a look. And there it is. Let me reduce the strand gap size to zero. This is one of my preferences. It won't suit everyone. And click on column coding again. Let's go down. And it shows it well, at least it shows the pattern in the middle. Of course, the bytes at the top and bottom, when they're tightened up around the widget, you might use a wooden ball, will tighten up. But that's the pattern we got. And in this case, I haven't ticked consolidate overs and unders, because I know there's no wrap around, if you recall from a previous lesson, but it's really something I try to get into the habit of doing clicking consolidate overs and unders and we'll click down again the instructions for red white and blue which we will also find of course in the half, half cycle row here that's what I used for that knot anyway just let's have a little experiment let's change this coding to over over under under, over, over. See what happens. Column coding, pineapple grid. That's a little different. Yet again, just experiment. You're not going to do any harm. We'll have a look in future videos a bit more into the theory behind this. Thanks for watching.